Hello and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you are already part of the Sprinkle Squad. I hope you are having a wonderful day. So today we're actually building on that like volcano lot in Sulani, but that one literally up at the top by the volcano. I think it's called Caldera Camp is the lot. And honestly, I was doing the plant sim scenario over on Twitch, like, I don't know, like two weeks ago. And I just kept playing with that family and we were on this lot and I kind of liked their house that I was kind of makeshifting for them. And so I decided to actually make a speed build of a house inspired by their house hopefully that makes sense so i kept a lot of the vegetation on the lot because i really liked it and wanted to draw on it for inspiration for everything else but this is a bigger house it than the one that i was actually playing with and this one ends up being a two bedroom three bathroom home so plenty of room for sims and i also want to preface this video by saying that i am currently <laughs> struggling a lot with some like allergy induced asthma and so I have a lot of coughing going on right now so um, I'm gonna try to cut all that out and so you, you won't hear me like coughing um, but if I sound a little different then and maybe not as energetic that's why because if I talk like too loud or too energetically I cough anyways and um, if I also sound different if I have to like pause and stop and like start the recording again it's it's because I needed you know a voice break but I really wanted to get this video out for you all but I just wanted to let you know in case I sounded a little bit different but it took me a little while to figure out kind of what I really wanted this to look like but I fell in love with this really bright orange swatch here and so that's what we're kind of using and drawing on throughout this build this is not a limited pack build so I do end up using a lot of packs but I tried to heavily use this stuff from Island Living since this is like kind of where this is located here in Sulani and I've never actually lived on a lot with the volcano trait. I forgot exactly what it was called, but basically volcano like meteor rock things fall on your lot and it can catch on fire and but you can actually break open those rocks and get stuff out of them like different like crystals and stuff. I don't actually is that what they're called crystals in the game? I don't know, but I was doing that and I really wanted to use those little like meteor things as decorations on the lot but fun fact in case you didn't know um they don't exist in debug or anywhere you can't actually get them unless they literally fall on your lot which you know I guess that was a fun fact to learn I did spend a lot of time trying to find them but um of course like I said I didn't actually end up finding them so we didn't include those I just had to use some other rocks I thought about maybe living on the lot and then actually having a like hopefully fingers crossed the volcano happens and then some of them would land um but then I opted not to because I didn't feel like it but I was just saying if you live on this lot and those do fall I think it actually looks really cool and like a really cool decoration so yeah I also ended up using the debug item there with all of the mailboxes on it I will say that it's not functional the only one that is functional is the one all the way to the right I actually ended up just placing a mailbox that kind of matched the ones that were there and I know it's kind of random considering this is like a one family household to have like a bunch of mailboxes but I just thought it looked really cool and wanted to include it especially since it was like a debug item from the this pack the island living pack and so I don't know I left it there we have like the little fish thing as well and this is also right near the beach which I thought was super fun and I also included that little clothesline debug item so that's not an actual clothesline that's not how you would do laundry and I did include a washer dryer in this build so your sims can do their laundry but it just it's not like a clothesline situation even though that's kind of what it looks like and then I actually end up you see I got that like big arch back there and I ended up doing something kind of interesting I ended up combining it with the spa day like wall fountain like waterfall thing and I ended up like sizing them down so you can't actually see the frame but the water stays in place if that makes sense which you'll see a little bit later you can kind of see like the shadow of what will be the water but I thought it was this kind of like cool waterfall effect back there and it just looked like really interesting I've not tried that before but I think it actually turned out pretty nicely so you know I am pretty excited about that I also so this was a little bit difficult the yard for me because I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to include here whether I wanted to include like a pool or not now since we are next to the ocean part of me was like well I mean I don't know if we would really 
need a pool do you know what I mean because they could just go to the ocean but what I actually ended up doing is I ended up putting a small indoor pool combined with a hot tub like I know that sounds really weird I do that at the very end of the video because honestly like the first floor ended up being so big I didn't know what to do with it to be honest so the last thing I did I think I'm pretty sure it was the last thing I did was the like indoor pool area so I also figured if you were like if you were playing with a mermaid or something that, that might be useful I've never actually played with a mermaid in the game so I don't exactly know you know how that works there is also a bathtub here i believe they actually i assume they have some sort of water need clearly i need to actually play with a mermaid i've just never done that i actually when i started playing the sims 4 um island living had already been out actually i think it may have been the most recent pack that came out i'm not sure when i started so i never really played with it that much if that makes sense because then i got excited about all the new expansion packs and stuff like that and at the time we were still getting stuff packs and like anyways just like kind of keeping busy with all of that so i never actually played with a mermaid i've only done a little bit of gameplay with a werewolf to be honest and i feel like i have more experience with werewolves in the sims 3 than i do in the sims 4 and i really haven't played with a werewolf either maybe that's what i need to do like maybe i need to do some sort of like occult <laughs> gameplay to actually see what that's like i just end up building so much and using the items that i end up not you know actually playing the game if that makes sense and i also um am starting a new gameplay series over on my twitch channel and I'm, we're doing a like chaos wheel kind of thing it's not a legacy i'm just doing it for one sim like basically what we're doing is we're creating a family as so two parents and then the daughter is a toddler and we are going to follow the toddler the toddler's life like until you know I guess the end of her life and spinning a chaos wheel that basically something random will happen like every day and so I'm kind of excited about that so I'm working on the house for that too so hopefully like my asthma will be okay and I can get some more speed builds out but also if I'm a little behind on getting speed builds out that's why I'm like just you know trying to take care of myself and hopefully we will get this you know <laughs> figured out soon but anyways not to bog you down with like <laughs> my own like health issues but I just want to be transparent that like I'm, I'm still around <laughs> like I just haven't stopped uploading I just you know I'm, I'm doing the best I can at the moment and also so I ended up putting these really pretty like vine things on the wall but the problem was when you put the walls down they just they didn't disappear so they kind of I feel like would impede your gameplay so I ended up not including those if you feel like adding them back I think they would be a perfect addition to the lot but I feel like that's kind of up to you on whether or not that would annoy you if you were trying to play and there would be just like vines there that you couldn't like see through do you know what I mean and like I mentioned before this is based off of a house that I'm currently using for like my own personal gameplay which also has been kind of nice I haven't really like just played the sims for me like on my own in a really long time I feel like a lot of what I do ends up you know being content which is fine but it's kind of fun just to like play on my own and so that's kind of why I also included some gardening here I thought that'd be a nice like skill building thing to have but also that's like something that I have on the current lot that this was kind of based off of. So my Sims are doing a lot of gardening. I also end up having them do like a lot of the eco lifestyle stuff in terms of like water and electricity conservation. And that's I think I ended up including a water conservation machine thing on the side of the house I'm pretty sure and then I have a couple of the wind turbine things whatever they're called on top of this build now I will say like the one I'm playing with I have like no joke like nine of those like wind turbine things on top of my house but I only put like two because I didn't want it to look like ridiculous but again this is just based off of the gameplay I was doing and I was just having a lot of fun with it of course, if you don't want to use that aspect, you can easily, you know, just get rid of those and you don't have to worry about it. And I guess also like the neighborhood action plans that I have right now in my game, like I'm supposed to be conserving water and energy, which I don't do super often. I feel like it's kind of difficult, like to be honest, like I think I usually have an issue with like water conservation and I don't know why like currently I think I finally have it to where we are conserving some water but I have like seven of those like water bucket collector things like on the back of my lot so this is definitely 
more aesthetically pleasing than the one I'm actually playing with. But of course, you can download this and do whatever you want to with it. It is up already. It is already up on the Sims 4 gallery under my ID, Spice and Sprinkles, all one word, all lowercase, and down in the description if you want to see it written out. And you know, play with it however you see fit, change it, like do whatever you need to do like for your gameplay, that's what it's there for. This is just kind of like, you know, how I would maybe use the build, but I did want this to be kind of an open floor plan and have this really nice grand staircase to go upstairs. And so we end up with a really nice open like kitchen and like it has a bar area in it as well. And we have like a really nice spacious living room, a nice dining room that's right like by that door that goes outside so that your Sims can kind of like dine inside or outside like however they feel and I feel like you know being in Sulani like that's a chance to have something that's a little more open air if that makes sense so having like that big like desert lux like what is what kind of door is that the one you can just like open accordion door I don't know am I just making up words possibly that's definitely that's definitely something that could be happening right now and I also include a an office up here which I think is super useful so I don't know why but for some reason I was thinking that the sim that lives here or the sims like maybe were like a writer or potentially like an interior designer. I don't know why, like obviously you don't have to do that, but that was just something I was thinking about when I was actually constructing it. And I will say I kind of, I kind of struggled a bit here, like on the interior and I don't know why, like considering I had inspiration and maybe that's why, because the house that I'm like basing this off of is like <laughs> actually a pretty small home. So this is actually a lot larger than the one I'm actually playing with, which was intentional. I did want this to be a larger home, but I guess maybe like, I don't actually even have a dining room in that home. So like trying to fill in all this space was like, I guess harder than I was expecting it to be. I don't know. So it actually took me about three different sessions to actually finish this up. And I wanted to do something interesting, like with the under the stairs space. I didn't just want to like wall it off. I really wanted it to be nice and open. So I do end up putting some flowers and sand and stuff underneath the staircase. So I think that looked pretty cool. And then like the space under the stairs is actually going to be the bathroom laundry area. So your Sims can do that. Of course, if you don't like laundry, you can easily take that out and that won't be an issue. Like even if you have laundry day, I feel like laundry day has some nice items in it. So people might have it, but not actually like the gameplay aspect of having to do laundry. It feels like one of those really like real life kind of things maybe. So I know some people don't like to actually use it and I actually don't use it super often. Like I did it while I was doing my big sister challenge to intentionally be a little more challenging if that makes sense like I knew what I was doing I knew this was going to be difficult but I did it anyways but it, I don't know it kind of added to the chaos and it was kind of fun and you can see that I'm using that red shelf because I did size down that like middle coffee table so like I had to specially place all the items on it because the items will try to clip to its original height and not its current one, if that makes sense. So I like using that to help me just very nicely and properly place items there. And like I said, we end up having a really big kitchen here, which is so lovely. Like maybe the another thing the Sim could be doing here is possibly being a chef. Like I think that would be really cool. This kind of feels like a gourmet kind of kitchen. And I struggled a little bit with this counter. Like I love the waterfall. I think that's what it's called, like waterfall counters on the side. But trying to combine the bar counters with like the regular counters was a bit difficult. And so I ended up having to ended up having to like overlap counters a little bit um, because I wanted to be able to see the waterfall counter like all the way down the island if that makes sense. So anyways, there's some like hidden overlapping counters there on the island. So just FYI, like if you're messing around in this in this build, there will be some extra counters there. And I, I struggled a bit here too because like this pack didn't really come with traditional upper cabinets like there are those like shelving things which I do end up using but like they didn't have like normal ones so it took me it took me a while to figure out honestly I left it and came back to it several different times before I figured out exactly what I wanted to do and then I created this interesting looking like shelving space book 
nook kind of area under there like I just thought it looked kind of cool and somewhere cozy for your sims to hang out but it was just kind of funny like I was like I've never really done anything like this before but we're doing it and I actually am pretty happy with the way it turned out and you'll see I actually end up putting the dining room like kind of to the side of what's going to be the bathroom and I actually do end up moving it to like right next to the door instead and that's actually where we end up putting the indoor pool hot tub area is where the dining table is at this very moment but we just end up shifting it around and I can't remember if I did that on camera or not so if all of a sudden the dining room is a different place that's why is because I decided to move stuff around a little bit and while I was filming this like like I, I, I said I did this in like three different sessions and so the new modern luxe kit came out like <laughs> in between some of those parts so I did go back and I think try to add maybe a few of those items in here because they really are gorgeous I did do a like kit review on that on the channel if you want to check that out and see all the items I go through every item with like every swatch and talk a little bit about like pros and cons of some of those how I might possibly use each one of them like that kind of thing so if that's something you're interested in or if you're wondering whether you should get the pack or not you know be sure to check that video out and also like let me know like if you've got that kit or not honestly I really like the kit and I feel like you can tell that the simmer that helped create that kit like did a lot of work for it and it really shows like I feel like the simmers that they get to actually help make kits and, and packs and builds and stuff like it, you can tell like there's just so much work that goes into it it's just honestly like stunning like the artwork and everything we even have like standalone pillows which I think I include in this build I think upstairs I end up doing it like I said and I think I swap out the TV in the living room for the like picture frame TV that we got with that kit as well so if that just randomly changes out like it's because the kit came out <laughs> and so I decided to actually change that item and I actually ended up not putting a whole lot of clutter on the kitchen counters themselves since I did have so much like open clutter there on top I kind of let that be where I put the clutter if that makes sense and then just adding more so a little bit of like wall clutter instead and I thought about putting that like pot organizer over the island but it just felt like it was impeding like the view which sounds really crazy because I'm talking about a a kitchen like having a view but I don't know I hopefully that makes sense like I like the way the kitchen looked and I didn't want to take away from that and I also used several items from from the horse ranch back actually in here which I didn't think necessarily I would end up combining but I think some of those items looked really nice like I end up using that tapestry in there there was also I used the rug under the dining room table is from that pack as well and you can see that I'm basically just ignoring that other part of the downstairs because I didn't know what to do with it yet but don't worry we do figure it out and I do fix it in the end and I was like wanting to use an aquarium <laughs> you might be able to see it kind of moving around like like from room to room with me trying to use it um, I don't end up using a an aquarium in here although I feel like that would be super fitting of course if you want to place one on the lot then you can absolutely do so if you'd like to and like I said it was so funny the house that I'm basing this off of is really small and so the room basically only had room for like the bed so it was kind of funny when I was like doing this this is such a big room that like I was like what do I put in it <laughs> since you know this is a lot larger than my inspiration room but I think it turns out really lovely it's just a really nice place and honestly I feel like you could also use this like as a rental if you wanted to do you know what I mean like this would be a cool place to go and the other bedroom that we end up putting in here honestly I think I kind of kept it kind of generic I thought maybe that it was like a guest room or something or if you use it as a rental but I don't know I just I wasn't attached to the idea of it being like a toddler or a kid or a teen or something so I just kind of decorated the bedroom if that makes sense so if you download it you'll probably want to personalize it a little bit like to the taste of whatever sim is actually living in there or you know they could like rent out the room or you could just reno the room into something else 
but it also has an ensuite so both of these bedrooms have an ensuite and then we have the office up here and then there's the bathroom downstairs so there's plenty of room for sims you can also easily fit like a bunk bed in that other bedroom as well so you know if you wanted to do that you could and i end up <laughs> i end up actually making this bathroom a little bit bigger because i really wanted to use the shower and bathtub that came with island living and i also really wanted to use a double sink in here i don't know i just felt like i wanted this to be really nice and luxurious so I kind of just stole some room from the other bedroom. Of course, you can like shrink it back down if you would like to. I just like, I don't know, I guess I was prioritizing like the bathroom instead. And I think maybe that's also why I kept it kind of as a generic, maybe more like a guest room, just because I did take up some extra room in there. And I, I really do like the way it turned out though. I think also I was struggling with like, if I made it for a kid, like I was really attached to the aesthetics of this home and so I feel like a lot of times like kids rooms don't necessarily match the aesthetic do you know what I mean of the rest of the home and so like because I figured the person that lives in the home right would probably have the like owner suite and everything so that would all look the same but a kid's bedroom is going to be different and I don't know I just didn't want a room to look different I don't know and a lot of times like I, I, that doesn't really matter to me but for this one it just did randomly but like I said creating this honestly I really love this office this sounds really weird but I'm wondering if this office is my favorite room in the house which does sound really silly but I don't know I just think it turned out so nicely and I feel like I would really enjoy working here and again like having the desk in the middle of the room I think it's so funny like you see that on shows and all that but honestly how does your wire management work like where do the wires go right like luckily we don't have to worry about any of that since it's the sims but every time I place like a desk in the middle of a room that's what I think about I'm like but what about the wires like how do you plug in the computer I know that sounds so silly but I just like I don't know like that's just like what was going through my mind but you know I left it there anyways and it's just putting like a nice comfy chair in here and that's kind of about it for the office like I didn't do like a whole ton of stuff in there and then on the stair landing I think I just end up putting like a chair in here and like a plant like keeping it a little more simple but of course you can also easily add in some more skill building items like you could swap out and put like a chess table there and I'm like thinking like I didn't include a chess table right like I don't think I did so you could put one maybe at the top of the stairs like and of course you don't have to like take any of my suggestions but I like mentioning that as alternatives like if you download the house you're like oh it doesn't fit my sims like you could you know places that you could swap stuff out really easily if that makes sense and to make it like work for your gameplay and then I used again that horse ranch rug in here and like, I just thought it looked so pretty and I love that painting on the wall the colors are just so warm bright and inviting that like I don't know I just I just really liked the way it looked and again like that aesthetic just didn't give off like kid vibes to me so I don't know you can swap stuff out like I said if you'd like to and then having an ensuite for that bedroom as well which I think makes a whole lot of sense too like if you want a roommate or something like that I mean like I wish we had a more robust system like for roommates and like being able to rent out spaces like that kind of thing like I don't know like it just that would be really cool and like I know recently Lil Simsy was talking a lot about like how like she would like hotels and stuff and I feel like that would be so fun I've thought about building a hotel but like I just don't know how that would work but like let me know if that's something you want to see and like as usual too like if there's other things that you want to see on the channel or things that you want to see me try you know please definitely let me know also I've been thinking about like should I do a like small gameplay series or something I probably wouldn't use face cam or anything like that but just kind of like a chill relaxing gameplay like you know definitely let me know if that's something you're interested in or if you are like you know <laughs> what would you actually like to see like do I need to go through and actually play some of the stuff that I haven't played in the game like I mentioned earlier like mermaids and stuff like that so I don't know let me know about stuff that you might want to see and um also like I do more gameplay too like on twitch so if you want to check that out the link is down below so if you ever want to come hang out with us it is a whole lot of fun over there and I know I don't mention it often, but I also do have a VOD channel on YouTube YouTube that is linked down below. So if you've missed any of my like Twitch like 
streams or like you just like having something on in the background like definitely you know go check that channel out i have like all of those up there so building gameplay all that good stuff um so i just want to let you know if that's something that you're interested in because i never talk about it um but anyways if you enjoyed this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up um and subscribe so you can be part of the sprinkle squad we would love to have you and i hope you have a really sweet day bye everybody Head underwater, I'm falling back into you. I thought we'd be smarter, I got nothing left to lose. You said you fall with me, no matter how far it goes. Down deep and under.